Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a special unboxing and installation for you of 8 gigabytes of RAM for my 13 inch MacBook Pro. It is from 2009, but it is the same unibody design that is used in today's current MacBooks and have been used from 2009 to the present. So if you have a MacBook Pro from any of those time periods, you will benefit from watching me install this RAM. This RAM was sent to me by Nicholas Ramos, um, who is also known as Awesomeness25, but it's spelled differently, um, on Twitter. You can find a link to his Twitter down below. Nicholas runs a website called The Average Nerd. It's up and coming. Um, it covers a lot of technology type things. Um, and it definitely has a huge amount of potential, so you guys should definitely check that out. Um, I will leave a link below, and I'll also put a link somewhere in this shot right now. Okay, so I'm going to move now to the shot of the MacBook Pro, and we will install this 8 gigabytes of RAM. Alright, so let's get started. We have the two 4 gigabyte sticks right there. This is Corsair branded RAM. You need to flip over the MacBook Pro, make sure that it is off, obviously, and unplugged. All right, so you're going to need to remove these screws right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I heard that they're pretty hard to get out, so I'm using a screwdriver that's small enough to be used on eyeglasses. Let's give this a shot. All right, I finally got all the screws out. Look how tiny they are. That little one right there moving is what a majority of them look like. There's three that are bigger like that. All right, so now that we finally have all the screws out, that was a pain, by the way. Um, it took like, took me maybe 20 minutes. So anyway, you grab, you stick like a nail or something underneath, and then you pull up. Oof, there's a lot of dust in here. That's actually kind of gross. I cleaned off the dust. Um, as you can see right here is the fan. This is the hard drive. This is the battery. There's these little flaps right here, um, making all this stuff easily, um, upgradable by the user, which is cool. First thing you want to do is touch something metal inside of the computer to decharge any electricity that might be inside of you. What you're going to do is pull these two lever levers and you see right there the RAM comes up. You can just pull it out, I believe. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Second lever is a little harder. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Ah, see, what you need to do is maybe use your nail or something, pull on this lever, pull it all the way because this will come up a lot higher and then you can pull it right out. There you go. That's a lot easier. If you look in there, you'll be able to see that there is a gold insert that matches up with this. What you're going to want to do is go this way, the shorter side on this side and the longer side on this side. So what you do is you just insert it at an angle like that. Um, it fits right in there right away. And then you're going to want to just push down. Make sure you hear a click. And it'll fall right into place like that. The lower one is a bit harder than the top one. Again, that's Chelsea's computer. Excuse me! <laughs> okay, so then you're going to do the same with this chip. It's really quite easy once you um, fit it into the little slot right there and then you just push it down. You kind of push in and push down at the same time um, to fit in with the levers, which you'll see because there's a little spot inside the levers that matches up with this curved portion of the RAM. So yeah, there we go. It's inserted both 4 gigabyte chips. So now let's put the top back on. Like I said, I would recommend this to anyone just to get the dust out of the computer because I cannot believe how much dust I took off. Um, it was pretty gross. So again, a special thank you to Nicholas Ramos, also known as Awesomeness25, for sending me this 8 gigabytes of RAM. That was very generous of you and I really appreciate it. Everyone should check out his website, theaveragenerd.com. I will have links to that below. I will also have links where you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, Daily Booth, down below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, and if it's one of your favorites, favorite it. Duh. And if you would like to receive more videos from me, press the orange slash yellow subscribe button above. And for those wondering, I am recording this with the Flipman OHD with the Bauer wide angle lens attachment, so if you want to learn more about that, you can check out my previous video from last week. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.